The only thing left that remains the same about Deontay is his name. So I'd like to see him retire, for sure, before he does damage to himself. So I have a question, primarily directed towards Deontay Wilder's trainer, Malik Scott, and those of a similar mindset as him. You know, is this coming from a place of hate, from malice, or a place of disrespect, or is it coming from a place of concern? Let's discuss this in this video. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. If I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, Boxer Talk family? It's your boy, Dr. PG, and GM. Praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So check this out. Look here, man. So we have some news coming from Deontay Wilder camp. Well, not from their camp, but news as it pertains to Deontay Wilder and his camp, right? You know, I've talked about Deontay Wilder. In fact, I've talked about this topic. You know, I've said similar things since around the time when he lost to Joseph Parkins and, and so you know what I'm saying a few fights ago you know particularly around that time you know and um I've said that I think that Deontay Wilder should retire because he looks like a shell of himself and you know check out the video right there and some people you know they have came out and said that hey man you know it's just one loss don't take it too seriously you know what I'm saying and they also said oh you know Deontay Wilder could bounce back and I've even was called a hater of Joseph Parker saying I'm discrediting his win and that Joseph Parker would be Deontay Wilder in any day. You can say whatever you want. That's your opinion. That's fine. But Tyson Fury and Joseph Parker are friends, right? So why would he, you know, diminish his close friend's win, right? Unless he was telling the truth. Check out what Tyson Fury said about Joseph Parker's win over Deontay Wilder. When he's come back and he, he's had a couple of fights since against Joseph Parker and against Zilly Zhang, the Chinese guy. What do you mean by that? And it's not, it's only a shadow of his former glory. The only thing left that remains the same about Deontay is his name. Oh yeah, you sorry. And he also, he also included a Zayle Zhang's win over Deontay Wilder too. You know, Deontay Wilder was not defending himself. He turned around and did a full spin of Rooney. Oh, uh oh. Oh boy. Oh, turn around. What, what you doing? Oh Lord. Did he get turned around like that, Judah? Yo, that nigga turned around. What's he doing? <laughs> That's bro, bro. He ain't know who hit him. <laughs> he ain't know who hit him. It's crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he was doing the hokey pokey, bro. You know the macarena. Hey, macarena. Any any dance or any sequence that involves spinning around, that's what Deontay Wilder was doing in the ring after he got hit by Zayle Zayn. That does not demonstrate somebody that's able to protect themselves effectively anymore. You, you see what I'm saying? So that's what we're saying, man. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying everybody's saying that, but I'm saying that, man, I have concern for Deontay Wilder. I want him to retire, not because I don't want him to make money, not because I think that he's incapable of boxing at all, but I don't think he's capable of performing at a high level, particularly when it comes to protecting himself. And there is a lot of life to be lived after your chapters of boxing are come to a close, you know what I'm saying? So if you want to remain all your, you want to have all your faculties remain intact, well then you want to start looking out for the welfare of yourself and have good people around you that will also have a similar interest in regards to your welfare, you know? And I just think it's just too funny because everything that Tyson Fury says here, I've already said it. He just reiterated it, you know? And and it's, it's just, I hope, I'm hoping that people realize that this guy shared the ring with Deontay Wilder. So there's nothing that would be advantageous for him to, you know, to try to persuade a guy that he's fought before and he's done fighting to retire unless it's just legitimate concern, you know? And Tyson Fury even mentioned their last three fights, which I thought was funny because, you know, he said that he, <laughs> he said Deontay Wilder lost all three fights, but it wouldn't be, you know, Tyson Fury unless he was poking a little fun and teasing a little bit. He can't help himself. And obviously he lost the, the three fights to me. But, you know, famously they, they had a draw and then Tyson Fury won the other two in their trilogy, you know? Tyson Fury mentions that. And it did take a lot, a lot, a lot of, uh, a lot of life out of their careers, you know, and their, not just boxing careers, but their life period, you know, it, it's hard to recover from that. These are heavyweights going to war, man, repeatedly, you know, and I just want to bring up something that Malik Scott said. So let's read it together. Malik Scott said, just shut up and enjoy the show. If you really want them to retire, don't tune in when they fight. Don't pay your hard earned money and go to the fight. It's just the hypocrisy of boxing fans. I guess you could say, I understand all aspects of it. I understand the fans, the fighters, managers, and promoters. We all have a perspective, but be respectful to the fighters. Shut up, bitch. 
so I want to say when we say that he should retire, you know, Tyson Fury being a, a former adversary of Deontay Wilder and a current boxer himself, me being a, a, a pugilist enthusiast, a boxing purist, I love boxing. So when we say this stuff, we're encouraging him to retire, not because we don't like him or we're hating on him or we're disrespecting him. We're saying it coming from a place of concern for his welfare. You know what I'm saying? We're not coming from a place of malice, disrespect, or hate. What would you put uh, Deontay Wilder? Being truthful, I'd like to see poor old Deontay retire from boxing. So I have a question for Malik Scott. When you say what you say and you're encouraging Deontay Wilder to fight, what place are you coming from? Are you coming from a place of personal gain? Yeah. Are you coming from a place of personal welfare? Yeah. Where are you coming from, brother? Self is some of my bitch. So, you know, so when you say that people are disrespecting, I, I'm not, I can't speak for everybody else, but I'm not disrespecting uh, Deontay Wilder, man. I've always been a fan. I was actually a fan of him since back in the day when he was kicking your ass all over the ring. You know what I'm saying? So I always liked Deontay Wilder, the bronze bomber, man. One of my favorite fighters. I just don't want him to potentially get hurt chronically, you know? And, and I think that's where Tyson Fury is coming from as well. Like, you, it, it, it's a shame when we see these fighters and we know what they're capable of and they just fight a little bit too long because they love the sport, you know? But you would hope that they would have good people around them that could that could point this out you know and there's even trainers like buddy mcgurt people would say oh man i i already like buddy mcgurt because he cares about the fighters too much well yeah maybe he will because you know that's indicative what's indicative of him potentially caring too much is when he throws in the towel some fighters will say prematurely well if that's an example of a trainer caring too much malik scott is an example of a trainer not caring enough i promise you that so y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments man do you think tyson fury is out of bounds do you think tyson fury is hating or disrespected i don't think so i think he was just giving a realistic view and, and, and his perspective of what he would like to see deontay water do and i share that same perspective man i think that deontay water him him continuously fighting especially against guys that malik scott named like Anthony Joshua he could potentially get hurt I don't care if Anthony Joshua's coming off a loss Anthony Joshua did not look like he was a shell of himself you know he did not look like it was just Anthony Joshua by name only he lost to a fully capable Daniel Dubois you know Deontay Wilder lost to Zayle Zay Zhang and he lost to Joseph Parker and neither one of those fights did he look the same you know what I'm saying? So that's just a concern right there, man. I hope that Deontay Wilder keeps those things in mind. Uh, but if he does fight again, you know, I'm going to watch and I'm going to be rooting for him like always because I, I want the best for Deontay. You know what I'm saying? Now, now my question is, can Malik Scott say the same? Yeah. But yeah, that's it for me, man. Don't forget to smash that like button. Also, remember, most importantly, remember with God, we can do anything without God. We're nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets